Hi folks and welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. What you see in the vise is a fly that will be in every competition angler in the UK's box in some form or other. The traffic light cormorant. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vise then is a Hanak H200 barbless hook. This one's at size 12. It's finished in black nickel and it's on a heavy wire. Now, I prefer to use the heavier wire for pulling flies like cormorants uh, because when the fish hit them, they can hit them at pace and what you don't want to do is be bent out. So I use this heavy, heavy gauge hook. The thread I'm going to be using today is from Simplify. It's the Nano Silk at 12 volt or 50D if you prefer. And as you can see, it's in black. As always, with the Nano Silks, I'm simply going to add a spot of super glue to the shank of the hook and then use my silk to spread that up and down the shank. Now the cormorants are a fantastic pattern and uh, there's literally hundreds of variations around nowadays uh, but the traffic light cormorants one of my favourites uh, and it works particularly well in September. So I brought it down to approximately where a barb would be on a barbed hook and I'm just going to take away my waist. Next then we're going to tie in the first part of our rib and what I'm using is Semplify's mirror tinsel. This is the Mirage Iris. It's 0.8mm and as that's going to be the last thing that comes over the body, it's the first thing that gets tied on. So I'll just dress that up on my side and catch it into place. Next, on top of that then, we have some red holographic. Now I've lost the label for this, but I've got a little bit here that I've been working with and if I can show you, show up to the camera, it will pick up. It's like a prism sort of holographic, so it's not just plain red. But this is just me. Plain red will probably work just fine. So I'm going to tie that in directly on top of the pearl and then I can come back to the butt section. Now cormorants are really simple flies to tie. It's it's actually an easy win. If you're not a, a confident fly tire you can tie these all day and they'll serve you very well on the still waters. Now for the body I'm using some uh, of Troutline's Select Peacock Herald and I've already taken a couple of strands of that out the box. For a size 12 then I find two um, two strands of herald enough. I marry up the two ends here, the thicker ends, and I run my finger all the way up till I've found the point of failure. And then what I do is the very thin ends here, I tie in first. And what this will do is give me a little bit of a taper, which will be negligible, I must add, um, up to the towards the hook eye. Now, when I bring it up to the hook eye, I'm going to put several extra turns in, as I'm going to use the rotary function on my vise. Now, if you haven't got a rotary vise, you can simply do this by hand, and it will work just as well. If you're careful. Now what I'm going to do is attach my hackle pliers and then I'm going to turn my vise in order to create my body. Now the beauty of doing it this way is each time I come past that hook point I'm able to slightly bend out the feather. I'm keeping minimal pressure on this. I don't want it snapping and I can avoid the hook point. If you catch the hook point with your herald, it's uh, pretty much game over. Uh, <laughs> unless you're very, very lucky, you're not going to make it. You're going to have to strip it back and start again. So all the way up towards the point of the hook. Now I want to leave myself some room to tie in the wing. And I've just put too many extra turns in there, usually. If I get it right, my thread comes to meet the herald. So I'm just going to come over 
catch that in. Once I've got it in once, I can just make sure it's trapped in, like so. And then the hair will just snap away when you pull it. So, so far so good. Now the first rib to come across is the red holographic. And what I want to do is get three, three turns onto the body of the fly. There's the first one. Second one. And the third one. Just in there. Try and keep it um, evenly spaced. Pearl's trying to get into the show too soon. I'll just pull that back out of the way. Make sure you catch that in to secure it. And then a couple of turns in front and we can take off. I'll not say waste because there's plenty here. I'll get another couple of flies out of that. I'll put that to the side. And then the next rib, which is going to come hopefully on top of the red, the pearl. Don't be overly worried if uh, you've got a little bit sticking out. It all adds to the character of the fly. But, you know, make an effort to try and come on top of the, uh, the red holographic. I'll trap that into place and then I'll simply remove my pearl. Okay, the wing then. I'm going to be using some Comp Candy Blackjack Marabou and I've got a feather out of the packet here which I've been working away with. Now I like my cormorants to have quite a sparse wing so as a guide I'm using from the tip of my thumbnail to where my thumbnail meets my thumb and that gives me enough Marabou for the wing. Very sparse. Now the other thing about the Marabou is you want to really have these end bits in the wing. So district when you when you're getting ready to dress it up to the fly, try and keep as much of this as possible and cut away the thicker bit at the bottom here. So I'm just doing that over my waist bin. I'm going to damp down the ends and just tidy that up. So when I tie it in Just have a look at that. Yep, it's looking okay. So what I want to do next is build my head up. Nice neat black head. Now you can, uh, and I've seen lots of different variations, you can tie in goose bites as cheeks, uh, jungle cock if you've got a jungle cock cape available to you. There's lots of permutation. I've seen people tie runners into the wings um, and and they all work on their day, of course. I'm going to bring in my whip finish tool just to finish this off, like so. And then I can remove my thread. Now, obviously, competition wise, this is uh, far too long. So I would come in with my thumb and forefinger in my right hand, pinch in just behind the hook bend and take that away. Lick my thumb and forefinger, slick everything back. Now to finish the fly you can use super glue, varnish, uh, I'm going to use UV resin. This is Solaris Bone Dry. It comes with a neat little brush which makes applying the head finish really easy. Now for all the fancy different variations there is of this fly I still have a lot of faith in this and I think this is probably as near to the original traffic light cormorant as there is. Uh, I've not really deviated from it, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And I really have got a bad habit of tinkering with patterns, but this one I just keep as is. 
12 is my favourite size. It just seems to work great. And, and you can fish a team of these on. Or if you're at a still water that only allows one fly, uh, just fish a single one on a long leader. And I'm sure it will catch you plenty of fish. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.